sometimes the best videos are the raw unedited versions it's been very challenging to do this video regarding racism sexism and ableism the reason why it's been very challenging is because I'm still living in this. This is, you know, they say lived experiences, right? But I'm still living and I'm still telling my story. So when I sit down and think about and reflect on my life as a black woman who was deaf with a rare condition called microtia and atresia, and keep in mind that it's very extremely rare for a person who is African slash African American to have this condition. So with all those identities and all those different cultures and all those different communities, I feel like I'm, I'm like five different people at times. But I wouldn't change one thing. You know, my story is simple. Um, I was born and raised here in Cincinnati, Ohio, um, from the West End community. And my childhood was, was pretty awesome. Um, you know, I was born in the 80s, but kind of the 80s and 90s raised me. So I remember just hanging out in the neighborhood, just playing kickball, baseball, and basketball hide and seek. You know, we did all that. And I remember going to the neighborhood and just hanging out, being kids. You know? Good times. Riding the bikes. Had a lot of um, accidents on the bike. A lot of scars, but we can talk about that later. Um, my, my childhood was great. I mean, I never had any issues. You know, I, I was born in a black community. And I recall like hearing all the black music and the um, political music. You listen to Public Enemy, X Clan, and and it was just beautiful. Arrested Development. Um, my dad really made sure that we knew who we were as black folks, and being proud of who we were. So when it comes to my blackness, I got that. I was cool. Um, I wore everything, um, red, black, and green. Everything, African fabric, if possible. Everything, I still do to this day. Um, now in regards to my disability. I believe I was so wrapped up and focused on my blackness. I dismissed my disability. I wanted to just focus on something that was normal. I can go into the streets and talk to my friends about being black, black music, food, everything black. But it was very challenging for me to go out into my same community and talk about disability culture stuff. And when I opened my emotions and opened my heart to explain my differences, it was always an awkward conversation. You know, this goes from uh, my childhood friends, uh, my family, and even maybe sometimes my parents, because you got to realize that my parents Yes, they loved and supported everything regarding uh, me and my differences. But they didn't have my crochet and atresia. So they were more than likely very knowledgeable about the medical side of what my crochet and atresia is. But they didn't understand the culture part of it. They may have not understand um, just feeling, you know, different. 
yeah, they can they maybe can fill that with being black and being around non black people and they not understanding the black culture. But with me it was just a little different because no one no one at that time looked like me, walked like me, had this condition like me. So I felt like I was just all alone. 